When you're making changes and running maintenance on your WordPress website, you wouldn't want any of your visitors to be able to access that site in case something goes wrong. This can lead to them having a bad experience with your website, and we want to avoid that. I kind of liken it to running an Airbnb, but having your guests show up while you're cleaning the place. That's just awkward. How's it going guys? I'm Yaz from Brainstorm Force, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a maintenance mode page on your WordPress website. This is a page that when activated, it will be shown to anyone that visits your website, no matter what page it is. And this page will indicate that your website is down for maintenance. But you can still log into your WordPress dashboard and view your website like normal. But to everyone else, they'll see this awesome maintenance mode page as you can see here. And if you're new to the channel, we're the company behind the most popular WordPress theme out there, Astra. And we create content about our latest product updates, as well as tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you want to improve your WordPress skills, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications. If you guys are ready, let's get started. All right, I've just logged on to the WordPress website I'll be using for this video. This is the Astra theme with one of our awesome starter templates installed. These are professionally designed pre-built templates you can install in a single click. For instance, I'm using this amazing pizzeria one you see here. And everything you see on this page, all the content, all the features and widgets are all part of the template and I've installed them at a click of a button. If you want to learn more about Astra, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. Anyway, there are many different ways you can set up a maintenance page for your WordPress website. If you consider yourself to be more tech savvy and skilled with page builders like Elementor, you can actually design your own maintenance page just like this one I have here. This gives you a bit more freedom to design it and align it exactly to the design of the rest of your website. But like I said, this does take a bit more knowledge and skill to create. But the solution I'll be showing in this video is one that any beginner could pick up and set up really easily. This is by using a plugin, and there are actually many plugins that can help you create a beautiful maintenance page. But the one I've chosen for this video is called SeedProd. And for me, this one offered the best balance of features and customization for free. First, I'm gonna go into my WordPress dashboard right at the top here. Go into plugins and press add new. And the one we're going to look for is called seed prod. So you can search for that here. And this is the one we're looking for. Seed prod right here. Coming soon page, maintenance mode, and landing pages. As you can see, I've already installed this ahead of time. But if you're doing it for the first time, press install. And once that's installed, you can press activate. And once the plugin has been installed, you should see it on the left-hand side of your WordPress dashboard right here. And we're going to click on pages right here. And this brings us into SeedProd's page menu. SeedProd is actually a powerful landing page builder, so it's packed with some really cool features. But in this video, we'll be focusing more on the maintenance page. Right here, you can see that you can create a coming soon page, a maintenance page, as well as login and 404 pages. These are all features that come with SeedProd, but the login and 404 pages are all part of the pro plan. But the coming soon page and maintenance mode pages are all part of the free plan. And if you're wondering what the difference is between a coming soon and maintenance page, a coming soon page is a bit different. It serves to give the visitors a preview of your website before launch, and it also allows search engines like Google to start indexing your website. While on the other hand, a maintenance page is a page shown to your visitors while you're making a small change to your website. Maintenance mode also lets search engines like Google know that the website is under maintenance and to return later to continue crawling. All right, so we're going to be creating a maintenance page right here. So we can click on edit page right here. And this brings us into SeedProd's page builder. As you can see here, it looks like any other page builder we've used. You can drag and drop blocks from over here and drop them onto your page over here. But first, we're just gonna go into page settings. We're gonna give the page a title. It's gonna be maintenance page, just like that. And we're gonna leave it on draft for now. And then right at the bottom here, you'll see a red button that says choose template. We're gonna click on that right now. And we can press leave right here because we haven't made any changes to the page. And that brings us into the templates menu. And as you can see, it offers us a whole array of different templates you can choose from. You have maintenance mode templates, you have coming soon templates, or four pages and more. And a lot of these are actually part of the pro plan, as you can see here. But if you subscribe to SeedProd using your email, you'll get access to some additional templates over here. But right now, the one I'm gonna choose for this demonstration is this one here. So I'm just gonna click on this check mark here. And that will load up the template back in the page builder, as you can see. And you can see that all the elements are already preloaded for us. So we can begin customizing it. Or if you like the way it looks right now, you can actually go ahead and publish it exactly how it is. But for this tutorial, what I'm gonna do now is customize this template to make it match our pizzeria website a little bit better. So first, as you can see here, you have an image, the image block over here. You have a headline right here. You also have a text. 
and a button. So these are just some of the free blocks we have available to us. We can drag and drop and customize them exactly how we want. But as you can see here, you have a whole lot more variety in terms of blocks you can choose from with the pro version. But for this tutorial, everything we need is here as part of the free version. So first, I'm just going to click on this image here, and I'm going to replace this with one from the pizzeria. I'm going to click on the image here, and that should load up our settings on the left-hand side like this. And we can click on the image here and click on the orange gallery button, and that should open up our media library with all the images you have on your website. And what's really cool is because we're using the pizzeria starter template, it already has all these images from the pizzeria loaded onto our website. So I can just go ahead and select any of these images and use them on this page builder as well. I'm just going to click on this image here because I think it looks quite good for the maintenance mode banner. I'm going to click and select that over here. And as you can see, it's loaded it up and it's ready to go. And next, I'm also going to adjust this headline over here. But before I adjust that, I'll just show you that you can modify all the colors and other settings over here under global settings. You can adjust the fonts, you can adjust the colors, you can adjust the background, you can even add custom CSS over here. And if we come into colors here, I'm just going to show you that we can change the colors and make it match our pizzeria a little bit better. So we have our heading color here. I'm just going to change that into a red. Just like that. It looks pretty good. And we're also going to change the button as well. So if I go over here, you can see that there's a color for buttons. If I click on that. I'm just going to change it to a yellow, which is the same color as the rest of the buttons on the website. You can also change the link color and text color as well. At the moment, the text color looks fine, and I'm pretty happy with that right now. All right, we're going to go back into blocks. I really want to add a logo from the pizzeria up at the top here, and that'll be another image. So what I can do is drag and drop this block and drop it right at the top here. Right now, it's just blank, so we're going to click on that. And right here for the image settings, you can see it allows us to choose a new image or use a stock image right here. If we use a stock image, you can search for a stock image in this bar here. But again, that's part of the pro features. So right now, I'm just going to open it from, from our media library. And you can see that our logo for the pizzeria is right here, the pizzeria. I'm going to click on that and press select. And it's actually loaded up quite big in full resolution right here. I'm just going to adjust it so that the width is a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to change that here to 350 pixels. Just like that. And that looks a lot better in my opinion. And what I'm also going to do is shift it to the left and left align it. So these buttons over here will let us do that. So I'm just going to align it to the left. And that looks really good. I'm happy with that. But I also want to add a little bit of padding or spacing in between the logo and the banner over here, just to match this gap that we see at the bottom here. So what we can do is actually duplicate the spacing block here just by clicking this button, duplicate block. And then we can drag it to the top and place it there. So now you can see there's some spacing over here and some spacing here as well. And that looks pretty good. And what I'm also going to do is align this headline here to the left hand side to align with the logo. So you can do that by clicking on the logo block and you have your align settings over here. You can align it to the center just like now to the right hand side or to the left hand side. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the text you see here. Align and lift. And again, arriving back at the button, you have a lot more settings when you click on the button itself. So you can change the text on the button right here. And right now it's emailing to an email address you can enter here. Again, you can align the button whichever side you want. Change the size to Excel. That's a bit too large. I'm going to change that back into medium. You also have some templates here you can preload with different designs and different color schemes. See like here, a red one, yellow one, even a rounded one you see here. You can also continue to adjust it even more by changing the color, the padding, the style, everything right here. They offer a really good amount of customization with this plugin. But right now, I'm actually going to delete this button and replace it with the contact form. So I'm going to click delete right here. And right here, you see contact form. I'm going to drag and drop this right here. And once you click on this block, it should load up the settings here. It allows us to select a form right here. And it's using WP forms. So anything you've created there will be present here as well. So simple contact form. I'm going to click on that. And right here, you can see that it's loaded up our form and it's good to go. And that's it. That's all I want to do for my maintenance page. I'm really happy with the design we've just created. So I'm just going to click on the Save button at the top right here. And then we can press this X button over here to go back into our dashboard. Once we're back on the Pages menu right here in our dashboard, under Maintenance Mode, you can see that there's a toggle at the bottom here that says Inactive. If you're ready to turn your website into Maintenance Mode and enable that page we've just created, we can press this toggle right here. And once it reloads, you can see right here at the top, it says Maintenance Mode is Active. And if I go into an incognito window and type in the name of our website, 
visiting it as if we're a random stranger, you can see that it automatically takes us onto the maintenance page that we've just created. And if anyone tries to access any page without logging in, it will automatically take us onto this page you see right here. And in my opinion, it looks really good. The pizzeria logo up at the top. We also have a banner and we have a title and also our contact form here. So anyone can enter the information if they'd like to and press the submit button right here to contact us. It's as easy as that. And if you actually log into your WordPress dashboard, you'll still be able to see the rest of your website like normal. This page is only visible to anyone that's not logged in to your WordPress dashboard. And then when you're done conducting maintenance on your website, you can easily come back into the Seedprod pages menu, come into maintenance mode you see right here, and again, back to this toggle and just switch it off by clicking on it here. You can see right now, it's changed to inactive. It'll refresh your website. You no longer see that badge at the top indicating that the website's in maintenance mode. And that's it. It's as easy as that. And if you want to update or edit your maintenance page, you can do that by clicking on this edit page button right here. And that's how you create a maintenance page for your WordPress website using Seedprod. Now, if you want to check out Seedprod Pro, you can do that by clicking on this link on the left hand side here. It says Get Pro. And that will take you onto Seedprod's website. And once you're on the website, at the top here, you see a sale. Save up to 60% off Seedprod right now at the time of making this video. You can also click on pricing here to check out all the pricing options. There's four different tiers, $39.50 for the basic one, $99.50 for the plus, $199.50 for the pro, and $239.60 for the elite bundle. And you can see down below that each bundle comes with a different set of features. And you can see that on the basic one, you get one site and then three sites with the next one, five sites, and additional features as you go up the different tiers. If you want to check this out, I'll also leave a link for this in the description below. And if you guys had any questions about this tutorial, if you got stuck anywhere along the way, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And that's it for this video. If you guys got value from this video, make sure you leave a like down below, click on our logo over here to subscribe, and you can even check out even more of our content by clicking over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.